Good morning class. Today we will talk about computer hardware servicing in TLA 8. By the way, I'm teacher Janet. Before we will proceed to our lesson, let's have an activity. Just arrange the jumbled words or phrase. Okay, number one, Shara. Computer case. Okay, very good. Next, Crystal. It is proper hand tools. Very good. Next, mm, Julie. Yes, very good. It is a screwdriver. Okay, next, Rika. Yes, it is a rest trap. Very good. Last one, Raquel. Okay, very good. It is keyboard. So, before anything else, let's have our learning objectives. A. Identify the following hand tools. B. Perform safety procedure in using the hand tools. C. State the importance of the proper usage of tools and equipment. And D. Demonstrate understanding in the proper usage of hardware. So, today, let us talk about proper use of the tools use appropriate hand tools and test equipment okay the first tool is the proper use of the esd or wrist drop okay it is commonly used in uh, electronic company so here it is choose a wire strap to ground yourself so this is how to use this uh, tool as you can see there is a gladiator tip and a rest strap so wrap the ESD strap around your wrist third attach the other end of the strap to a common ground or clip your strap to a metal part if no common ground is available okay so because we humans are the one conductor of electricity okay next is wear your ESD strap whenever you are around ESD sensitive okay so that the parts will not get damaged Next is to test the resistance value of our SD strap periodically. So this is to test if your still your uh, rest strap is still in a good condition. Next is proper usage of electrostatic device the mat. Okay, so let us see what is this ESD mat. So here's an example of the ESD mat. Uh, observe the picture so cover floors and work surfaces with ESD protective mats next to or under the computer case connect all work surfaces and fixtures to a common ground clip the mat to the case to provide a grounded surface on which you can place parts as you remove them from the system Next is the proper use of hand tools. First are the screws. So there are um, screws have different heads. Just observe. Match each screw with a proper screwdriver. Place the tip of the screwdriver and the head of the screw. Turn the screwdriver clockwise to tighten the screw and counterclockwise to loosen the screw. Each screw has a proper screwdriver. Okay, so first the flat head screwdriver. So observe the tip of this screwdriver. 
Use flat head screwdriver when you are working with a slatted screw or the negative one. Do not use a flat head screwdriver to remove a Phillips head screw. Never use a screwdriver as a pry bar. So if you cannot remove a component, check to see if there is a clip or latch that's securing the component in place. Next is the Phillips head screwdriver. So look at the tip. It has a plus or, or the positive sign in the tip. Use Phillips head screwdriver with cruise head screws. Do not use this type of screwdriver to puncture anything. This will damage the head of the screwdriver. Okay, so if your screws are uh, plus sign, you will use Phillips head screwdriver. Next is the hex driver. Okay, so it has six sides. Use hex driver to loosen and tighten vaults that have a hexagonal or the six-sided head. Hex bolts should not be over-tightened because the threads of the bolts can be stripped. Do not use a hex driver that is too large for the bolt that you are using. Here's the sample picture of the different screws, screw heads, and the tip of the screwdriver so my partner talaga siya part retriever so if you push it the tip will open and then you can pick the small parts or the small screws easily next is the needle nose pliers so just observe the tip of these pliers it is uh long nose so it is used to pick small parts mm, tweezers i know somebody is already familiar with these tools so the part retriever needle nose pliers and tweezers can be used to place and retrieve parts that may be hard to reach with your fingers. Do not scratch or hit any components when using these tools because the parts or the components will be damaged. Uh, this would be the rubric, rubrics of the activity. But we will just skip this because we will not doing the activity because we are online. So, I'll give you... I want you to answer in one minute is each item. Okay, so just get a piece of paper and let us check after this. Okay, number one. The purpose of anti-static wrist trap is to blank the electrical charge between you and the equipment. Okay, let's just uh, uh, check your answers after the questions. Number two, turn the screwdriver to tighten the screw. Number three, turn the scroll driver blank to loosen the screw. Number four, use a blank head screwdriver with cross head screws. Next, number five, use a blank head screwdriver when you are working with a slotted screw. Ok, 
A number 6, pencil should not be used inside the computer to change the settings of switches or to pry off jumpers because the tip contains blank which can act as conductor and may damage the computer. Okay, number 7. Use a blank to loosen and tighten bolts that have a hexagonal six-sided head. Okay. Cover floors and work surfaces with ESD blank next to or under the computer case. Number 9 to 10. Blank and blank are ASD tools. Okay, are you done? So let us check. Let us see if you have understand the lesson for today. Okay, number 1. Equalize. 2. Clockwise. 3. Counterclockwise 4. Phillips 5. Flat 6. Lead 7. Hicks Driver 8. Protective Mat 9. Antistatic Wrist Trap and Antistatic Mat So, hope got perfect. Okay, very good. Okay, so let's have your assignment. Why is it important to clean the components of a computer? Okay, bye for today and see you next time. Thank you. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga bago kong uploads. Thank you. Bye-bye.